Hello, Kids Cloud. It's me, Pluto. Today, I'm going to show you all the planets. Hello, Pluto. Are you a planet? That is quite the story. Let's first visit the solar system, shall we? Our solar system, the sun. First foremost, the sun is a star, not a planet. Next is Mercury. Hi, I'm Mercury. I'm the smallest planet and closest to the sun. Next is Venus. Hi, I'm Venus. I'm the hottest planet in the solar system. Ouch. Next is Earth. Hi, I'm Earth. You call me home. I'm also the only planet with liquid. Next is Mars. Hi, I'm Mars. I'm really dusty and cold with a thin atmosphere. Next is Jupiter. I'm Jupiter. I'm twice the size of other planets, so they call me giant. Next is Saturn. Hi, I'm Saturn. I'm surrounded by a series of icy rings. Next is Uranus. Hi, I'm Uranus. I rotate on a tilt, so I look like I'm sideways. Next is Neptune. Hi, I'm Neptune. I'm the smallest gas giant and farthest from the sun. Off to next, Pluto. To the bigger planets we go. That was just names of our planets in our solar system. Now let's dive deeper. I have a question to raise. Shouldn't years take longer than days? Well, that's not always the case. Planets move in two ways. In orbit, I am quick, so a year takes shorter. I turn slowly on my axis so my days are longer. First on its own axis like. A dancer on a pirouette like a dancer's spin. This makes the planet upside down around the sun on a path called the orbit, while all other planets spin its axis counterclockwise. <laughs> The sun's gravity holds the solar system together. Next is Mercury. Mercury rotates very slowly compared to the sun, with a single day lasting almost 60 Earth day. Next is Venus. Venus named for the Roman goddess of love. Of all the planets, it rises above. Next is Earth. Earth, third planet from the sun in our solar system. Its name comes from the Old English and Germanic words meaning the ground. Also, 70% of its surface is water. Next is Mars. Mars? The fourth planet, also fondly called Red, it has two moons, Deimos and Phobos. Now, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars are not just neighbors by the nearest star, but also compact balls of rocks and metals. They are planets called rocky or terrestrial. Next is Jupiter. <laughs> Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. It's similar to a star, but it never got massive enough to start burning. Next is Saturn. Guess how many rings I have. I have four sets of rings that are wispy. For my pal Saturn, 82 moons keep me company. Prettiest of all planets, that's me. I have seven wider rings, all bright and icy. 
first seen by Galileo Galilei. Saturn the one with rings and another with a big spot? That's correct, my little astronaut. Nice to meet you both. Hey, is it getting very cold? Ah, uh, yes, because we're now near the coldest planet out here. Next is Uranus. Bright bluish green color from the methane in its atmosphere. Third largest planet in our solar system, Uranus. Uranus, are you okay? Why are you moving sideways? I move almost 90 degrees on my side. This is how I rotate and I'm all right. We've come so far. Are we approaching another star? I'm afraid not, my friend, but hey, here's our final planet. Last is Neptune. Neptune is eighth planet from the sun and the fourth largest planet. It's named after the Roman god of the sea. That's because I'm the farthest planet. I'm away from the sun by 30 astronomical units. Say, Pluto, aren't you farther away 39 astronomical units, they say? When we talk about solar system, we also take moon as his celestial bodies. But the moon is not a star or a planet. It's a natural satellite that orbits the sun and earth. They're ancient debris when the planets are forming. We're in the asteroid belt, you see. Watch out for the rocky objects floating. Mm -hmm.